Mushrooms are a lot like that one friend who is always talking and it kind of annoys you but at the same time you love him cause you know he's always keeping it real with you. So if you are fiending for a third eye awakening on some Dragon Ball Super shit, you better be ready for the shroomy shrooms to take you through the depths of your unconscious where it will dig out and highlight questions about your very fabric of existence like, who am I? Why are we here? Do I like men? But anyway, that doesn't happen the very instant you eat the shrooms. In fact, the stages of a mushroom trip are so different, each one of them could be considered a substance of their own. But the first stage everyone experiences is... Stage 1. Ingestion slash come up. Right after consuming those Mario power-ups, you might feel your stomach twist and turn a bit, as your body is signaling to you, This shit was not food, wasn't it? But thankfully, it's usually pretty minor and goes away after a few minutes. While waiting for the shrooms to kick, you probably stare at a bunch of random objects hoping to find some type of moving pattern, cause that's what shrooms are supposed to do, right? Well, yeah, kind of, but after 30 minutes goes by and you're still staring at the wall with no sign of visual hallucinations, you probably think to yourself, Man, I got scammed, didn't I? But then you start really thinking about it. Are you feeling something? And then you think about the next thing, and the next thing, and then you might laugh at something completely random like this picture of Spongebob, and boom, you now realize they weren't duds, and you're about to go on a journey, bro. Also, after all this, you probably move on to. Stage 2. Questions that lead to more questions. You at the point now where you know the shrooms kicking, but you don't really see any visuals except for maybe the increased significance of every object, but the main thing is you have started questioning everything you know, but not in a scary way of nothing matters, there is no point. More of a man I love hanging out with Charlie. Wait, do I though? What type of person is he actually? He's friendly, but kind of secretive and keeps to himself. What is he keeping to himself? Could he be a totally different person? Am I becoming a better person by hanging out with him? What is going on? So yeah, this stage can be very eye-opening to some, especially if you're the type of person to hang on to problems and worries instead of facing them. Because however hard you try not to think about something, the shrooms won't let you. And although it might seem like that's a bad thing, it's actually not. And you should treat this time of the trip to pinpoint the main questions you would like to receive some type of answers to by the end. Because soon after, you're gonna go to Stage 3. Holy shit! The mushrooms are now almost at full effect, and you've definitely seen some hallucinations, like moving patterns, disfigured items, wavy hands, etc. But to be honest, that isn't really the main thing, because if you approach this trip with the right mindset, as in you wanted to actually take something with you to the real world afterwards, then currently, you are most likely intensely trying to piece together the answers to the questions you highlighted on the previous stage. But it ain't as easy as it seems. It feels like you were constantly on a breakthrough to something real really important and significant, but then you lose it and have to start again with the pieces you left off with. But if you stick with it, you always figure something out. Maybe not the full picture, but something. Also, you shouldn't blame yourself if you start talking or thinking about something that you feel is very amazing, but then halfway through realize you're literally pondering about the implications of the evolution of the Pringles Man logo, bruh. But not to worry, that's the beauty of shrooms. They make you think about everything on a deeper level. And if you can find the correct things to think about through the clutter of Matrix conspiracy theories, you'll still emerge victorious. Speaking about emerging, the next stage is stage 4 the slow come down. You are now slowly coming down from the shrooms, which is indicated by the fact you don't see as many trippy patterns anymore, but also you're more realistic in your thoughts as well. Also at this point you probably aren't bouncing from thought to thought as much anymore and have chosen a definitive couple of things to think about. And with those things you will find answers, but also a lot of new questions, which can be frustrating, well until you get to the next and final stage. Stage 5 journey complete. At this point, you have almost completely came down from the magic, but not really because although you don't see any hallucinations anymore, you feel more in touch with reality and yourself. The best way I can describe this stage is like it's the fruit of your labor. This is the stage where you've gone through the constant questions and search for answers and come out victorious. Best way I can describe it is, is like you're high of some Zaza, but with a much clearer head. So this is the perfect time to play some video games, watch a movie, or do really anything you find fun. 
But that's it, I'd love to hear about your experiences with the Mario Mushrooms, and if my description was accurate to you. Oh, also I'm sick, so that's why my voice might be a little bit weird. Anyway, bye.